Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Amit Tawar from Networkers on Technical Team. So in this video, we'll discuss about how to install a Terraform lab on Windows there. Okay, so this is the objective for the this video. So guys, let's start. So we have to, uh, to follow the two steps only. It gets very simple because uh, the Terraform lab setup is very simple actually. Okay, the step number one, install Terraform on the Windows. So first of all, we need to install the Terraform on the Windows. And second thing, then install VS Studio or Git as a editor. Because first of all, we need to install Terraform and after that later, one editor would be required. So there is a two editors which you can use it. In the market, there are so many editors are there. But in this video, I'll cover two uh, editor. One is VS Studio and second is Git one. Okay, so let's first, let's go with the step number one. So just go to the Google, okay, and just uh, download here download terraform for the windows okay so this is the link here from here you can download it so open it. this is here but before that i just want to show you do we have pre-installed uh, terraform or not so here just go by terraform version this is the command to check the version if you have already terraform there like if it's already installed it will show the version but you can see here it's showing Terraform is not an a what recognized as an internal or external command. Okay, so it means it's not there. So we need to install it. So this is Windows 64 bit. If you have 32 bit, you can install as per the 32 bit here. So this is the Terraform. It's getting download. It's done. Show in the folder. Now I'll go to the document and I'll make it here folder like this is my. Terraform now, okay, and this Terraform, let me just extract here, this is my Terraform uh, file, let me create a folder here, this is the folder name, I'll keep it as a Terraform only, and I'll insert that, so this is it, okay, but still if you will go back, if you will check this one, still it's not there. Okay, because we have just installed, we have not defined its path. So we need to define its path variable. So just choose, select the path. Copy this path, this is the path here. And now define into the variables environment. Okay, let's go here, go to the properties. Go to the advanced settings. Environment variable, need to define here. Go to the path, add it. You can see Terraform path is not there. So we need to add the path and paste that path here and that's it and make it okay this is fine everything is okay close your command prompt once and open it again and now just type here terraform version so you can see terraform got installed terraform version v0 11.13 so this is the version okay so this is the terraform here which we have installed this is the one step step number one is done this is what? This is your step number one. Step number two, I hope this is clear. Okay. So step number two is install VS Studio or Git as an editor because now we need an editor. So we have already Terraform. That is very simple step here, which you have to follow. But then how to install VS Studio and Git? That is the next step here. So now let's download Visual Studio Code for the Windows. So this is for the Windows. Uh, these are the options we have. This is what I'm installing for the Windows here. Click here. It's waiting, still showing for the browser events. To, okay, just wait. Downloading is started. And along with this, I'll download Git as well. Okay. Download the package here. So, two packages. Okay, one is VS Studio and second is Git. So, now Git is there. So this is also will install, like it's getting download here. So no problem. Meanwhile, we'll install the VS Studio, VS Code Studio. So just open it. Okay. So accept the agreement. Next. Get it in desktop icon. Let it install. Okay. So first we'll finish Visual Studio Code installation. And after that, I'll go with the date. Okay. It's done. Finish it. Once you will install the Visual Studio, it will take your just extra RAM. Okay, but like because this is one of the like 
good editor here, the best editor. Okay, but it has uh, like uh, so many plugins, so that's why it will take your more like uh, you can say space and all. So one you can see uh, like uh, Visual Studio one plugin is already installed. Let me just uh, uninstall it. That's fine. So what you have to do, guys, in the starting once you will come here. Okay, so once you will come, you have to go to its marketplace. This is kind of its marketplace where all the extensions will be there. And you have to find out about the Terraform. Terraform extension or you can say plugin would be required. In the Terraform, these are the options. We have option Terraform, then HashiCorp, okay, then Azure Terraform. Okay, different, different options we have. So I'll choose here HashiCorp, create uh, Terraform and install this. So this is what, this is my plugin is getting installed. It got installed because I have option here un, uh, uninstall and disable, but still it's not activated. So this plugin or extension which I have installed here, this is not activated. How you will get to know? You can see here. Quick start. Get start writing ter Terraform configurations with the VS Code in the three steps. Step number one, if you have not done, like if you haven't done so already, install the Terraform. Install the Terraform extension for the VS Code. So this is the Terraform we have already installed on the Windows. Terraform extension we have installed. Step number three, to activate the extension, open any folder or VS Code workspace containing the ter Terraform files here. Means I have installed this extension here, but I we have not defined its path. So we need to define its path here. So now how to define its path, go to the files, or you can say how to activate it, go to the files and go to the option here, open folder. So this is the open folder, this is the documents. So I hope you remember this is the Terraform, uh, like uh, one file folder is there where we have already installed like files. I hope you remember earlier when I have installed Terraform on the Windows, that time I have used this one. So now I'll create a new folder with the name of as a Terraform ports. Because in this folder, Whatever the, like, like, see, now further in the upcoming classes, we have to write the codes. So whenever we will, need, like, write the code, so somewhere, like, Visual Studio need a, like, space where it will store and where it will keep the, those codes there. So this is the, that step, like, space here. So here, your Visual Studio will keep the, all the records here. All records, you can say all, all the codes, okay? Because we will configure the code for the Azure, for Amazon, for GCP and all, so it will keep it there. So this is the folder I have selected, selected it and save. So this is now, it's got activated. So this windows is showing, this is got activated. Now create a new file here and new file here, just type any name. Let's consider I'll define here name as a NH Terraform for AWS. So because see, I need a different, different files. Okay. So this is for the AWS. Okay. And here, this is in the documents. So Terraform code here. I'll choose this folder and open it. So here, and it's Terraform folders. So create the files and now it's ready. So this is what, this is my editor is ready. So whatever the like codes I will write it, it will be saved into where? It will be saved into the that location, which we have selected. So now everything is ready. So behind this, uh, Behind the this Visual Studio code, we have already installed Terraform, and now we have Terra like Visual Studio. So here we can write all the codes, or we have to write because in the codes might be there is a thousand lines, nine hundred lines, two hundred lines. So all whole code you have to write it here, and that will be automatically saved into which folder in the documents where we have created a folder with the name of Terraform codes. So that is the path what we have already defined. So this is one option we have second option we have git we can download the git as well okay so we have to download the git for the 64 uh, bit cell so git is again one of the editor okay this is one of the very simple editors here which you, you can use at git also you can use vs code as well but i'll go with the visual studio because i like that so just open it so this is the second editor it's yes yes desktop icon I need just next 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 text it's very simple okay. so it's getting installed just wait and watch and this is a 
So you can see that there's a bit difference in the Git and Git editor and the Visual Studio. But both are the same. Okay. In the end, the output would be same only. Okay. It just depends on you how you want to use it. So I'll prefer Visual Studio and otherwise it's your call. Do you want to go with a visual, uh, visual Studio or with the Git? Okay. So installation is very simple here, guys. It's not a complicated, it's not a rocket science. It's very simple. Okay. I hope it's clear to everyone. Okay, guys. So, guys, thank you for watching the video.